namin international year. Like for example, this last January, I was we were just in Hong Kong and last April we were just in Singapore and nagtalk kami sa mga OFWs na nandoon. You know what? A lot of them we've met them na hindi makauwi-uwi ng Pilipinas. And then they're asking us, Pearl, bakit ganon? We're 20 years na here in abroad. Hindi pa rin kami makauwi ng Pilipinas. And then I ask them, sabi ko, saan ba napupunta yung pera nyo? Sabi nila, napupunta usually pambili ng kotse, pambili ng bahay. And yet, at the end of the day, hindi rin sila yung nakatira. Hindi rin sila yung nag-drive ng kotse. So, in that way, you know what? I'm gonna share you some idea and tip about this one. May tinatawag tayong dalawa. Dalawang klase. That ang tinatawag dito is financial statement of the poor and financial statement of the rich. Paano daw naghihirap ang tao or financial statement of the poor ang ginagawa niya? It is financial statement of the poor if you focus on having a big income, not building assets. Doon daw naghihirap ang tao kapag ang focus niya lang is mag-earn na mag-earn ng pera at single source of income ang meron siya or ang tinatawag natin doon is active income. Ibig sabihin nun, kailangan mo mag-work, you have to work every day for your turn. If you don't work, you won't have income. Ibig sabihin, pag hindi ka nagtrabaho, wala kang income. And most of our OFW friends na natulungan natin doon, you know what? They realize na if they stop working, income stops. So, pag nag-stop sila magtrabaho, stop yung income nila. Kaya ang tendency, a lot of them, pag uwi ng Pilipinas, they get to have a life na kung ano yung life nila before pero meron silang magandang bahay why? kasi what they did is not business what they did is employment there's nothing against employment it's okay that you are employed but I'm telling you this right now that you have to build assets ano yung assets? these are the money making machines pag sinabing assets ito yung pinaglalagyan mo ng pera na tumutubo siya ng pera so it's not okay na puro lang tayo work kasi you and I know na negosyo talaga yung solusyon and time will come after you work on how many years like 5 years or 10 years in your business after 5 to 10 years and then time will come na mag-rest ka na lang pag nag-rest ka at nagpahinga ka at nagbakasyon ka and if assets ang ginagawa mo at assets ang binild mo time will come you're not working anymore but money still comes in now, on that note, with this house, with Upline Anita and El Nitare, their asset it was with Ain Global. So, ang ginawa nila, right now, they're just relaxing. They have a yacht in their backyard, sports cars in here, jet skis, and they have this house for the meeting area. Function room is over there. Yung events nila, nandiyan na. Yung function na yun, kanila din. So, they've got to have this kind of things. But at the end of the day, these are all assets. Kasi nagagamit nila pag-grow ng network, nakakatulong sa grupo. Kaya, yun ang masishare ko sa inyo. It's not enough that you are earning money. What matters is that you are building assets. It doesn't matter how much you earn right now, pero ang pinag-uusapan natin ngayon is kung asset ang pinibuild mo na time will come, dapat may exit plan ka. Dapat meron kang plan on how, how and when and kailan ka mag-retire young and retire rich. Kasi dapat ganun siya. Darating ang point na it will not work anymore but money still comes in. So, on the final note, you have to build assets. Please build assets. Build something that you know na after 10 years, you'll just sit down, relax, and enjoy. So, that's it. And I hope I help to gumulog. <laughs> I hope nakatulong po ako sa mga sa mga tao na nag-earn ngayon, most likely sa mga kababayan nating mga OFWs at sa mga tao na nagtatrabaho. Tapos ang pinaka-goal is bahay. Huwag kang mag-goal ng bahay. Ang i-goal mo, magkaroon ng negosyo. At yung negosyo na yun, pag kumita ng pera, doon mo na siya i-invest sa bahay, sa kotse, or sa liabilities na gusto mo. So that's it. Thank you for watching. This is Pearl Hong sending you love and light.